going to start with the particular new machine learning algorithm because we already trained in the last video about the that is a logistic regression so in this particular video we are going to start with the new particular algorithm that is a decision tree so in the last video we have just seen about the logistic logistic regression and we are getting some accuracy of 61 percent something okay so this all thing we are going through about the logistic regression so now we are going to see about the particular that is basically a decision tree and how the decision tree is going to be work i'm going to show you everything so let's see just remove this one save your change uh, i can just make this one as a this one i have just done this part for the logistic regression i can make, add the text logistic regression okay this is basically we have done with the logistic regression and we are getting something around 61 percent of accuracy 0.61 means you can just multiply with the 100 you will get 61 percent of accuracy so now this particular we are going to start with the new algorithm that is basically a decision tree tree classifier okay so decision tree classifier how we are going to import the decision tree classifier machine learning model basically we here we will use the, uh, every time i'm going to use the new video for the new model but we are going to use the same data set because x train uh, y train or whether it is x test and y test that data set is going to be same and we will see on which particular algorithm we are getting a better accuracy because we already checked for the logistic regression in the previous video now this video is going for the decision tree and how we are going to import a decision tree we can just import this decision tree by using the same uh, that is from the sklearn from sklearn from sklearn sklearn dot what we are going to write here sklearn dot tree we have to just write here import basically decision 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 tree classifier and then after we have to just write classifier because we are going to use for the uh, classifier means classification algorithm we are going to build because we already imported this particular algorithm the next task is the same as it is we have to just creating the object of this particular model creating creating the model object we can just say and what we can just do here we can just uh, take the object of this so far i'm just writing a model underscore decision t dt stand for the decision tree and i'm just initializing this particular decision tree model so i'm just going to write here decision uh, that is a decision tree cl uh, classifier so let's see how it is going to be work okay so now here we have to just take n number of parameters see it appear whether what the, uh, we are going to use for the we already seen the asm that is attribute selection method either Zini index or we can go with this particular uh, we have entropy base or the information base so by default we are just taking as Gini index because because the computational power is really less and also we have to just say maximum dip it is by default it is any in its uh, it can be in t that is two four whatever we can just Take. so this all thing are all thing are default value we either we can just change this particular value if you are going to work for the only in decision tree we are, you are going to change some parameter you can just go with this if you are going to use by default decision tree and all the parameters you are going to keep as the same as it is and you don't have to pass any argument or any particular uh, that is uh, inside the argument inside this particular decision tree so what we can just pass from parameter like I, even I can just pass like uh, argument of the uh, that is a max depth I can just keep from the 2 to the 4 means maximum depth of this particular decision tree can be go at up to 4 4 means basically maximum depth it will see up to 4 iteration if we, if we are getting a totally uh, whether that pro entropy as a zero it will just go with the four maximum depth because it some case either yes or no like in pure subset you will, will not get pure subset it means that you will get a leaf node leaf node uh, basically if you will go through the decision tree classifier which i have explained so you will be clearly understand what the use of the decision tree okay so what i'm going to write here so i've just written model underscore dc, uh, dt equal to decision tree classifier and then after what we have to just write here we already created the object if you are if you now we are going to train our model training of our model training of decision tree i can just write here decision tree so what this is how the decision tree is going to be trained so decision decision tree is going to be trained we can just even write here that is dcs s7 ignore the spelling for now so what i am just going to we already create the object so finally i will just write a model underscore dt last video also i have explained you about dot fit dot fit is basically used for the training of your model if dot fit is a method that is inside the that is whenever you are calling the class that is a decent classifier 
you are creating the object of that particular class that is model, under, model underscore dt and then from model underscore dt you are just calling one method that is basically a dot fit and dot fit is basically used for the training of machine learning model and it takes two argument it takes the first argument is basically the give me the features that is x train and give me the target of that particular that is basically your y train so once you are going to run it will just give you the model is going to be a train for the machine learning model it is really it takes really less time to train the model for the machine learning okay and next what we are just going to do now we are going to do by making the prediction of uh, using machine uh, that is a decision tree model, uh, L, that is algorithm making prediction using a uh, decision tree okay? so now what i'm just writing a print print underscore decision tree and i'm just writing here model underscore dt again i'm just writing here dt and then from that i'm just calling dot predict okay dot predict and we are going to call x test x test is basically stand for basically you are just going for the testing of the particular you are just passing the features on the basic of that feature you are just go, you are going to see whether your uh, that is a decision tree model is giving an accurate result or not you already know that you already have the true value that is a y test you already have but you are just saying what the model is going to predict that is basically your predicted model predicted things and what actually you have so then after you are going to compare to check the accuracy if you if the something for the one feature i'm just saying you have uh, on the basic of some feature you are just saying the water prediction is really bad that is your original it is predicting that this is not the quality of water is really bad but what we are just doing we are just passing the same features to the model that has been trained that the model does not see in that data set that is your testing data set now on the basic of that thing whether your model is going to predict correct or not we already know that we, on the basic of this feature it is not good uh, but if the model is predicting that's really uh, that is not good then your model is really performing really good and if it is uh, uh, that is a classifying opposite to that then it, you can just say that your model is not performing what your expectation it is so now why i'm just going to run this one and now let's check the accuracy of this so even we can just check the accuracy of the, uh, that is a accuracy score of this particular decision tree and i'm just going to write here basically accuracy score already we have this function i have imported in the previous video so i have to just pass here y underscore test comma predict underscore data this is what i have to just pass. let's see what the accuracy we are getting from this and even you can just print this accuracy accuracy is basically score underscore dt let's see whether we are getting accuracy more than this uh, that is a logistic regression or not so previous we are getting 61 point something 58 now we are getting 62.9 means you are just increasing some uh, accuracy means the decision tree classifier is giving you the better accuracy than of what your logistic regression has given to you okay because in the logistic regression you are getting something 61 percent of accuracy but in this particular uh, basically in the decision tree you are getting a 62 percent of accuracy so we can just say that um, the decision tree mo uh, classifier model is really better than the logic logistic regression for this data set it's not compulsory that every time decision tree is going to be outperform the logistic regression because for for some data set logistic regression is really good if your data set is really you can just say mainly depends on the binary classification or uh, we can just say your data set is really smooth or we can say on the left hand side the data we already know about the logistic regression they have sigmoid curve so if uh, you ca you can't predict that the, every time the decision tree model is going to be really good than of the logistic regression it it might be but the most of the case decision tree is giving you better accuracy than of logistic regression but not every case okay this is what this is what i'm going to give you the from my side what experience experience on the basic of experience what i have just noticed and this was about the decision tree model and even if you are going to see about the uh, something that is a classic confusion matrix if you are going to create for because for the previous i did not create the confusion matrix now i'm just creating the confusion matrix of this one okay so now i'm just writing a cm2 equal to 2 and i'm just writing here confusion 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 and then after i'm just writing a matrix so confusion matrix here i'm going to pass here y underscore test and comma i'm just going to pass here predict underscore dt that is basically stand for the what the model has been predicted so now you can just print in with the help of heat map sns dot heat map you can just pass here heat map and then you can just pass 
uh, what uh, particular uh, how many uh, what chance we are going to pass for this basically i can just write here cm2 the cm2 basically i am going to create for the decision tree confusion matrix and we can just divide this thing where the summing of all the particular cm2 that is basically what the config you can if you don't want to go with the heat map is basically for the better visualizing i'm just creating the heat map if you if i'm just right running this one you are able to see 366 205 means uh, the model has correct classify of the zeros is 366 but incorrect it has been classified as 38 and for the one then the water prediction is really good that had model has classified as 205 total number of and then after incorrect classify as 47 you can go with the uh, plotting surface like sns or heat map and then after you can just see how we are going to get some good accuracy and this all thing so you can go with this so now i'm just going with the basic term it looks really uh, good if you are going to go with the heat map then you can just uh, go with this particular sm cm2 basically you can just take sns dot heat map from c1 you can just uh, plot this particular heat map okay so that was all about the decision trees in the next video we are going to start about the random forest and we will see how random forest is going to or give whether it, that particular model is going to give you better accuracy or it is going to give you not much accuracy than of lost relation and dysentery every time we are going to check a new algorithm we will see the same type of flow or different uh, that is the for that same data set we are going to see the different type of accuracy that's all for this video thank you